final topic, John. This is coming from IndianExpress.com and um, I picked this particularly, um, we, we normally do have some Indian news anyway in our shows, but this is uh, something I think that might interest you because mm-hmm. I know that you're very interested in animated films, traditional animated films, and that sort of fusion between tradition and modern techniques and this is all about Bombay Rose and it is nigh impossible to overstate how gorgeous this Gitanjali Rao film oh. is. Um, I'm going to read a little bit about um, <coughs> the film John because it was, it's actually been out for a couple of years but it's only been doing festival rounds at the moment and then I just, uh, I'll read a little bit about what the film is about so uh, it's not too much to sort of take our time up and so Netflix as well, Steve. Yeah, yeah, I can't wait then. Uh, Gitan Jali Rao's Bombay Rose has been around since its premiere at International Critics Week at the 2019 Venice Film Festival but it is only recently that the animated film is available beyond festival circles. An extraordinary visual feast, Bombay Rose was painstakingly put together using frames, each of which is painted individually. This technique, a hybrid of traditional animation and computer-aided animation, lends a unique detailed visual language to the film. The undeniably rich and district, dist, dist, I can't even talk, late, late. Late. Uh, distinct art style harkens back to the classic art forms. There is an ir- irresistible hand-drawn quality here, which is sort of is. Sort of yeah, uh, the story <laughs> that you're sent and she takes me earlier, John. <laughs> the, the story evokes the, dog, it's never easy. <laughs> the story evokes the ethos of old Bollywood when it was called Bombay Cinema. Mm. And although not an impressive as its visuals, it serves the purpose. Kamala lives with her fa- grandfather and her little sister Tara. She makes flower garlands for a living, but unbeknownst to her family, she also moonlights as a bar dancer. As a child, she was forced into marriage and her grandfather brought her and her sister to Mumbai. Salim, a young Kashmiri man who had fled the violent atmosphere of his home, is struggling to find a job. He falls in love with Kamala and she with him. She oh, is uh, He is Muslim and she is Hindu. Well, John, I, I, I'm not really want to delve into that because I'm not well... That's I don't think I, I'm not down. in obviously that uh, position to comment on that, John. Yeah. But Talking about obviously the look of this film. Hindu, Hindu, no. Yeah, but uh, I think <laughs> John, um, I'm looking at that first <laughs> screenshot there of Bombay Rose and the style of its, uh, uh, it's, great. its art. It's yeah, fantastic. It's great. Oh, do you, I don't know if you remember that. Um, it, it's almost like Lowry um, mm. to an extent. I'm not an art critic or anything like that, but you know, what? Um, have you ever seen that Oasis master plan video? Yeah, and it's the little paintings. Yeah. Well, that was based on the Lowry paintings. It's there something about that texture and the colour. I don't think the style's exactly the same, but it does remind me the sort of uh, the sort of colour part of that sort of style. But I it's think almost it looks water great. painting, Steve. Yeah. So, uh, a watercolour is that the correct term? I studied that. Yeah. I should know this, but I was always more of a, a Van Gogh man, and he wasn't <laughs> a watercolour painter. I'm pretty sure he wasn't. I think he was acrylic. Yeah, I was a Van Gogh man and a, a Macintosh, and he wasn't even a painter. He was an artist, a, a, an architect, yeah. and an actual graphic designer. Steve, we've got a comment here before I get into this. Mike Porter thinks Kelly Marie Tran. He, he would he would like to see Kelly Marie. Kelly Marie, I can't speak. It's very late here. It's yes. nearly one in the morning. Yeah. Wow. He thinks Kelly Marie Tran returning to Star Wars would be a good idea. That's what it's all about, man. Um, it's all art is subjective. I think they could redeem the character at the very least by bringing her back. And I think it should be Ryan Johnson that should be doing it because it was him. I nearly done a... <laughs> Stephen King, that was my first picture as a director. <laughs> I actually kind of liked it. For anybody that doesn't know what I'm talking about, look up Maximum Overdrive trailer on YouTube. <laughs> it was Stephen King's one and only movie he directed, and he's on coke. He's absolutely drunk as hell doing the promotion for the movie. And I'm telling you, it's a journey. I'm going to scare the hell out of you. He's on <laughs> shaking and stuff like that. So go over and watch that. Ryan Johnson should redeem the character. He created all the shit that happened with that character. But Steve, this looks beautiful, Bombay Rose. Uh, I love animated movies, as you do know. I love a good stop motion movie. I loved Spider Man into the Spider Verse because it was a conglomeration. That's not even the right word, but I'm going to use it anyway. Of very many different <coughs> artistic styles. I think it was six, seven different styles with the sort of. Uh, what, what do you call that again? What is that sort of old school detective thing? You know what I'm talking about? The actual style. Nick Cage uh, played that Spider-Man. It's like a noir. Noir, yeah, that's yeah. the word, noir. Couldn't think of it again. It's late sale with the, the spider ham. All the different artistic styles. Yeah. Looking through the trailer very briefly, it looks as though it's dabbling 
with lots of different artistic styles. And I like that, it's beautifully put together. The fact they say as well, Stephen, that it's individually hand-drawn. Some of the scenes in this, well, all the scenes in it are painstakingly drawn by hand, so it's a sort of mixture of old school animation and new wave animation. I love it. I want to see that old art very much remaining true and present in modern day cinema. We don't have to go to full CG for every single animated movie. CG is good when it works. Paddington, Peter Rabbit, but there's still a place for stop motion. There's still a place yeah. for classic animation styles, actual hand drawn cartoons, and mixing it with various different sort of animation techniques. I want to see that, man. And the story looks intriguing too. This young kid rising up and getting married to a different person from a different caste, a different religion. It's controversial in India. We know what they think of Muslim and Hindu mixing. I just read about an honour killing last week. A man decapitated his daughter and put her head in the police station. It's a strange, strange country with these these issues at times. And that's absolutely fine. We stay in the west of Scotland and it's a strange, strange country too when it comes to religion. So who am I to speak about that? But Stephen, it's a very interesting story. The artistic style looks very interesting too. I like yeah. to look at this, man. I was, Sorry, I, I was intrigued. This. I was actually reading more about this. Um, I'm very interested in seeing this one. Though. Stephen, I'm as well. When it's on Netflix, we are subscribed to Netflix. So it's going to be easy to access. Keep saying it, man. This is one of the great things about streaming services. Lots of filmmakers from traditional backgrounds, Spielberg, Coppola, Scorsese, they like to come out and shit on streaming services, but they offer up-and-coming actors, actors who have fell, like Nick Cage, <laughs> a sandbox. Nick Cage. <laughs> do Nick. Yeah. Always got Nick Cage, man, I love Nick Cage. Honestly, people shit on that guy, but I absolutely love him. He's so zany, he's eccentric. No one can do a movie like Nick Cage, man. He's brilliant. He's not John Travolta yet. <laughs> we'll get there in 10 years I'm sure but it offers those actors and filmmakers an avenue it also offers content from all over the world a place to be consumed we wouldn't be able to get access to this Stephen if it no. wasn't on these streaming services we wouldn't have seen Bahu Bali we wouldn't have seen KGF we wouldn't have seen Master if they weren't on Amazon Prime they weren't on Netflix so hats off to those streaming services for housing this content allowing absolute goons like us from Scotland John, while we're on subject do you want to reveal the film we will be reviewing this Friday? we will be reviewing Kaifi from Lokesh Kanagarish the man who worked so beautifully with Joseph Talapathy VJ on Master. I'm looking forward to watching this movie, Steve. Yeah. Me reacted to the trailer nearly a year ago, man. I think it was yeah. a long time ago. It looked mind-blowingly good. A Simple story. A guy gets out of jail John. and he goes and, try and tries to meet his daughter and yeah. he's got shit going on. So, simple but complicated. Looking forward to it, man. But look, yeah. that's going to round it up, Steve, unless you've got anything to no, say. Then we are done here.